Good afternoon, another day in Philippines. Oh, gee, almost uh, last day in Manila. Tomorrow we're going to Puerto Princesa, change of plans. So we'll be going to... So we'll be going to El Nido, Palawan, uh, Puerto Princesa, and then a couple more places that are a little bit more hidden. They're not that touristic. We're going to <coughs> go to the mall and then go to the park in Makati. There is like a little light show. So we will be going there like later today. We made it. Like the sun is so nice right now. It's like almost, what time is it? Like almost seven? Six, like it's six in the afternoon. Uh, we made it to the mall. We came to the mall. Maybe we will we'll get some food like for dinner. Um, with a nice view because the mall is like next to kind of the river I don't know which river it's just next to the river so like look at the look at the sky it's so beautiful so nice Guys, we came to Pizza Hut to have dinner because we wanted pizza. We just finished to eat in Pizza Hut. We're going to Makati. There is a like a light show kind of. I'm oh, sorry. It's like a loud show from six to ten. So we have a couple hours till we get some over. And it's like around 8 in the evening, so we'll go there, we'll take a bus and then walk. We'll get to the trees and we'll see. It's, it says that it's like the most interesting um, thing in Manila for Christmas, so we'll see. Guys, we get off, we get off the bus, we're walking to the park right now. We took a bus from the mall, it's called SM Fairview. Uh, it costs ten dollars, I mean ten pesos. Um, and it dropped us off in the highway and Wendia, on the street Wendia. Then we cross the highway to the other lane and then we're walking right now. So we're like ten blocks away, kind of. We're saying bye to Manila tonight. We're going to Palawan tomorrow. Tomorrow um, at like one. We'll be checking out and maybe getting a haircut like in the morning before we check out from the hotel. So hopefully we'll get the haircut because my like my hair is messy. Also check out the video of my stay in Batal terraces in the rice terraces in Batal. I made a video for the owner of the hotel where we stayed. It was not, she, she was not a sponsor, she was not a sponsor. She didn't give us anything for free and uh, I didn't do it with a kind of like, uh, you know. But we just kind of, I mean, I did it to start making the way I want to do things. Um, if people need that and it helps to them, it's good for them because it was a nice place, it was a nice big family, nice, like really nice place everything was amazing and she helped me a lot because i got like a little food poisoning so she she gave me a tea of guava leaf or guava leaf i don't know what was something but it was not the fruit it was something like uh different so um and i kind of like started to feel better after that tea so kind of like really helped me and i was like Oh, we are thinking about making a video about you and about the hotel if you want to like invite people to come over to the hotel to stay here because there is a lot of guest houses in the in the in Batal. and I, I, I already goodness okay i already told you there is a lot of them and usually they are kind of like the same like the most famous one is the ramon's guest house 
um, and then this one is kind of like also new it's been built like two years ago I guess that's what she said and they're like Ramon is her her uncle yeah her uncle so yeah they're like everyone is family like the rust the rice terraces they are like split and divided by families terraces so like she showed me the ones that they were they were they belong to to her family and then they do the harvest thing and the uh, plantation and all that on those terraces after those two minutes of saying just bs pretty much um we're getting closer because it's like we we've been walking these past three blocks because like really everything was dark and like really bad and like it's getting better look check it out like it's getting better i don't want to fall that far so i'm guessing we're like on the right way goodness okay she's pointing at paseo de rocas roxas that's the name of the street where we need to turn left. Also, I was going to mention something. Do we? Can we? Okay. It's not green. Okay, so it's not green, so we're crossing. Let's go. Okay, here the way it works is the Filipino way. So you cross whenever you want. Just make sure the cars are stopped. They're not gonna like crash into you. That's all. Also, transportation is really good because shipnees go like everywhere. But it's really easy to like um, locate yourself, kind of. Because the shipney is also like kind of like goes in a straight line. Because it says in the, it's kind of like the MRT or the LRT. They don't say like the next stop they will say like which one is the end of the line stop which is if you if you find like in the map it will be just a straight line of like three or four stops and then it will be the last one the one that will show in the signs that the uh, ship needs have but you can ask and they will tell like yeah i go and no i don't go like goodness fireworks, you, the fireworks, fireworks already started look 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 where it was just right there oh See yeah yeah, there. Man, right there. Okay, you cannot see them, but they're over there. Live. Because I was, I was making just a speech. Okay, so, show is over for today. It's nine. We got off at like seven. Seven was the last one. So, no more live show for tonight. Okay, I might, re I might record the last shipney journey that we'll have in Manila or in Philippines, at least these shipneys. So we took another bus to come back home. Um, we found uh, two girls that would help us take our shipney because it was kind of like more difficult this time because it was not just a straight line. So these girls are helping us. New friends, new friends in Manila. Everyone saying like they know me from my videos, right? Yeah, I'm so happy. Boy, I'm walking. Everyone saying hi. Walking in um, Philippines. Yep. That was getting off the ship. It was like so it was so small like it's so small but it's also so fun i don't know i love i loved it and it's like seven pesos and it takes you like it's so nice 
She, I mean, she doesn't like this one. That's why she doesn't like the ship name. But like, you gotta get used to it. Like, you're in Philippines. Okay, we're gonna buy something to drink because we're like fucking thirsty. So, we're gonna stop by the 7-Eleven, which is like one minute after. Yo guys, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone. Uh, we're in the hostel, so it's here. This one. We're packing almost and I'm like editing. And the owner just said like he brought the party, so I will I will just shout out shout out to the owner. You want to say hi? Hello! The owner. Try this. What is it? It's like pudding. Like, like what? Sweet pudding. Good taste. Okay. Light, light taste. It's like a ham or cake. Like ham? Mm -hmm. Like cake? Mm -hmm. Like cake. Mm -hmm. Just taste. Taste. Just taste. It's no virus. No, no. No, it's just. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's green. This is kaya. Hey, I know. I know. Uh, uh, cake. Uh, it's good. What do you call it? I don't know what you call it in your country, but mm. we call it. Uh, pudding. We call it pudding. Pudding. Yeah. Pudding. It's like a food, like a cake, but yeah. no candle. <laughs> <laughs> 